Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. Welcome back. Uh, today we are going to do a 12 by 12 canvas and I uh, had one of my subscribers suggest that I do like an autumn theme because you all know here in Arizona it is almost fall. Come September 20th or 21st we have fall. And it um, actually reminded me of, of being back home in Illinois. Phil and I lived on five acres of wooded uh, lot. And the Phil can tell you the trees were absolutely incredible. Every single day he'd come home from work, I'd go outside and go, Phil, look at the trees today. They would be yellow. Then they'd be red, red orange. and orange. And I mean, they were incredible. And it was just a whole line of different color trees. It's amazing how they can turn but then the bad part is you know winter's coming and I was not looking forward to all that snow but in the meantime the fall colors were beautiful so um, I'm doing a chestnut brown with a gold sparkle which is, is a pigment bloom. this is for your bloom correct yeah I'll get there okay. this is for my bloom the orange red and the Pearl Papaya is by Arteza. I have Love Struck, which is a red. I have Mallard Green to bring out the green in the leaves. I'm throwing in a little bit of Harvest Soul, which is another pigment. And then I'm doing a Mango Mamba with the yellows, how it came in on the trees with the oranges and the greens and the reds and the browns. My base color is gold. It's the Nickel Azo Gold which is just put into my house paint. Um, it's my golden fluid acrylics. I just mix it up. My house paint is just from Walmart Color Place, ready to use, white parenthesis satin. And I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of the green on just to bring out a little bit of that green for autumn. So here we go. And this is just the Brilliant Green by Amsterdam mixed in with my Color Place house paint. That's all it is. Simple. Very simple. Very simple. Simple, simple, simple. And you can just drip, drizzle, <laughs> whatever you want to do. It doesn't make any difference. I'm just adding a little bit of color to this base. And you, there's no glue, there's no water, there's no silicone or anything in that. Nope. Just plain old paint. You got that down pat now, Phil. I do. I do. Hey, you're getting really good. Oh, boy. I just got that all over me, but that's okay, too. So, on with our bloom, which is going to be... The brown first because the leaves, you know, they get kind of brownish, which is okay. I hate it when they would all fall off though. Oh, that would not be good. You know, they'd be beautiful but for a couple of weeks. <laughs> and then when the really cold weather came, oh. they'd uh, of course all fall off and we'd have to break them all up and get rid of them, burn them, whatever. But Yeah, that burning wasn't too fun. We don't have that problem here in Arizona. <clears throat> no, we don't. Which is a good thing because, I mean, burning of the leaves, oh, it can really um, wheeze you up. Well, they banned it in most areas where we lived because of that. People with asthma and respiratory problems. So you're, you weren't really supposed to be burning them at all. <laughs> no, but they did. I know, people did. That's true. Because they didn't want to bag them or anything, which... Well, you're making your little. I'm doing it, Phil. There. Okay. Making my little. Yeah, exactly. My little happy guy, whatever he is. I could do a little mouth and eyes too, but I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> okay, this is my orange. Now all these pigments and paints that Kathy's using for the bloom, she has a special recipe in video 248. I'll have a direct link to that uh, recipe video. It's a very simple easy recipe and it works for blooms and drizzles very well here's my red yeah the red That's when the leaves are turned red it's not new it's nope. a, these are the, all the color art pigments 
I know, but I don't remember that color. Love struck? Mm-hmm. Okay. I haven't used it too much. Maybe only once. That's probably why I don't remember. Yeah. So we're going to see what happens here with mm -hmm. this little Hummer. Mallard Green, you probably haven't heard of that either. Yes, I remember that one. Oh, you do? I do. Because it's a dock. Quack, <laughs> quack, quack. Yep, this does look like the trees back home in Illinois. Mm -hmm. They'll be turning soon. Oh, absolutely. And September into October is perfect time for all over the Midwest and Northeast of the what United States. That? Well, any anything in the northern part of the United States um, get some really nice colors on their trees. Yeah, the they. I mean, they really do. The um, Kathy does have an Etsy shop. Um, which contains uh, her paintings and coasters, purses, tables, and uh, I think, uh, what are those boxes? Trinket boxes and so forth. So <laughs> check it out. Things. They're things, things yeah, Phil. Things, yes. Okay, and our last color is a Mango Mamba. Mango Mamba. Which is color art primary element pigment. Yeah, this this should be a very interesting combination, I think. It should be, shouldn't it? Well, it is definitely fallish. I know that. Hmm. Cute little Hummer, isn't it? <laughs> That's right. Okay, and you all know me. My cell activator is black. Black paint and Floetrol. You know it, Phil. You got it. You got it. Okay. Now we're gonna get our little hair dryer out. We're gonna see what happens with this puppy. Picking up tons of colors, those colors you put in in this bloom. I'm thinking that we can almost see every color. And yeah, we'll take a closer look when you're done there. Done blowing? I actually kind of like a top in this color. <laughs> we can add this design to the red bubble shop. Definitely. Well, speaking of red bubble, we have about 60 of Kathy's designs out there, and you can get those designs and about 80 different products. It's really a, a neat site to kind of peruse, uh, you simply pick the image that you like, click on the image, and up will pop all the different products that that image can be put on. And it's really a cool site. I'll have a direct link 
um, or I'll have a link to it in the description box. Yeah, it is really cool. Yeah, I really do get the feeling of the fall colors in this bloom. Yeah, it really is uh, fallish. Yeah. Very, very fallish. You're you going to let that sit. You picked up the reds, and see what the comes. oranges, the greens, the yellows. And what was what, what were those two? We have um, the chestnut brown with the gold oh, yeah. sparkle. Yeah, that's around the edges. We have the orange red and the pearl papaya. Love struck, mallard green, harvest soul, and mango mama. Mamba. Mamba. Okay. So, we're probably going to give this a little spin and see what happens here. Are you going to do any wrecking on that one? Yeah, I'm going to do a little okay. bit, but I just want to let it come up a little yeah. bit. Oh, more? Yeah, that really picked up the color super nice. And I do have my canvas taped down with my frog masking tape. out of here though first I don't like those big bubbles Phil <laughs> it's not good no, you don't want bubbles that's for sure okay so we're gonna wreck a little bit here I'm not gonna do too much because I really no, like I this composition go to those corners that's what I'm doing I don't want to do the middle. No, no, not at all. Yeah, those rookie lines added some nice interest to the going towards the corners. Again, we're, we picked up tons of color and a very nice bloom. I could do it right here and maybe right there. All right. That might add a little bit of interest on okay. this. Sure. Okay. Okay, Philly. We're going to give this a little abracadabra. Nope. Well, you have to spin it slower, fast on this, you think. I hate to miss, you know, lose too much of that middle, but let's see. You're not going to lose see. it. Okay. Once I do my abracadabra, <laughs> you're not going to lose it. Abracadabra, uh, let's see what you got, baby. Here we go. Oh, this oh, is pretty. Wow. Oh, wow. This is pretty. This is really pretty. Oh, look at this, Phil. Yes. This is really pretty. I just got to get this in the middle a little bit. Beautiful. I don't Bloom want to with all the colors. Tip it. I'm stuck. Are you going to tip it my way a little bit? I'm going to that. A oh, okay, I see. It's going to go pretty slow. Let me see. This is really pretty. I think I'm going to, if I spin it that way, will it come down this way? No. The other way? No, if you spin it, it's not going to, it's not going to come down. If you want to get what, you, you want to get more of the bloom yeah, that way? You're yeah. going to you're gonna have to tilt tip it. it. You're going to have to tip it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm stuck here on this thing. Okay, we got it now. Oh, yeah, we're moving a little. We're moving now. Moving. All right. We're moving. Moving on out. Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah. This is really, really, really pretty. We do have over 300 videos on Kathy's channel, Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. Videos on all different types of pours, you know, drizzles and swipes and flip cups and Dutch pours and blooms. Uh -huh. So check some of those older videos out. We had a, a 
great time doing it. Oh, they were a lot of fun. There we and, go. And I got oh, it let's now. Let's take a look at this. Oh, yes. This is really pretty. Really yeah, pretty. I love this. You've expanded some of those cells real nicely. Mm -hmm. I'm loving these colors. I think uh, the side by you should be the bottom. Can you turn that so I can kind of look at it that way, I think? Yeah. How's that? Yeah, I like that. It's really, really pretty. I'm really excited about this. The colors are beautiful. It does remind me of fall back home in Illinois. Yes, it's picked up all those mm -hmm. fall colors and then you've sort of got this brown bottom, brownish bottom, which reminds me of the a tree tree trunks, you know, sort of. It the, does. This kind of looks like the tree trunk. Yes. I think. Exactly. And then the big bloom. And, and then you the big burst of color of autumn fall colors, yes. So everybody, if you like it, give me a thumbs up and thank you. Um for uh, suggesting an autumn uh, bloom. I really appreciate that. And like I said, leave me a comment. I'm willing to try anything. Um, please subscribe to our channel. We are trying to hit 10,000. And uh, we're having a great day. I hope you are all having a great day. We love all of you if you are our subscriber. And please hit the bell if you are going to subscribe because that way you will get notified every time Phil uploads a video. So until the next time, everybody, see you later, alligators. Bye.